Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're here to share the word of God today about the Lord Jesus Christ who loved you. It says in Revelation chapter 20 verse 15, it says, Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, we don't follow the word of men, we follow the word of God. And it says, whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelations 2015. We need to make sure that we go to heaven. And the only way that we can make sure that we go to heaven is by believing in Jesus Christ. It says this, God has said, whosoever has sinned against me, I will blot him out of my book. That if we continue to sin, if we continue to go against what God said, then he'll blot us out. It says in Romans chapter 3 verse 23, it says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That every single one of us has come short of the glory of God. So every single one of us needs the forgiveness of God. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. 1 John chapter 1 verse 10. We say that we have not sinned, we make God a liar. If we say that we have not sinned, we make God a liar. All of us have sinned. All of us need the grace of God. It says, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and here it is, he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Having nailed it to the cross. Any guilt that you have, anything that you've ever done wrong, he nailed it to the cross. You were, he, he died on your behalf, and he was punished on your behalf. And he nailed it to the cross, anything you've done wrong. Any lies, any sexual sin, anything that you have done wrong, Jesus Christ died for you on that cross. He was nailed to that cross for you. He shed his blood for you on that cross. And if you come to the cross, you can be forgiven. If you come to Jesus, you can be cleansed. If you come to the cross, you can be washed. There's no other name in heaven or earth where you can be saved but Jesus Christ. His own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree. His own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24. The Bible, the word of God. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24. His own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree. The Bible says, the Bible says that Jesus Christ bore our sin upon the cross. The Bible says that if you believe in Jesus Christ, that you can be cleansed and forgiven and restored and washed in the blood of the Lamb. His own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree. He laid down his life for you on that cross. He laid down his life to save you on that cross. His own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree. When he died on that cross, he died as your savior. When he died on that cross, he died as your Lord. When he died on that cross, he shed his blood for you. That you wouldn't have to go to hell. That you wouldn't have to go to judgment. He took the judgment upon himself. He bore the judgment upon himself that you wouldn't have to go to hell. That's why you died on that cross. And if you reject him then, it says, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And if you're not found in Jesus Christ, it says in the Bible, you're cast into the lake of fire. There is judgment. And it'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth because we've missed the pearl of great price. We've missed the one who loved us. We've missed the one who died for us. We've missed the Savior who gave his life. And that life is Jesus Christ. No other prophet can save you but Jesus Christ. Only he can save you. He's the one that died for you. And he's the one that rose again and shed his blood for you. He's the only one where you can be cleansed. He's the only one that you can be washed. He's the only one that you can be saved today. Jesus Christ is Savior. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. 
and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. My friends, do you want to go to the lake of fire or do you want to go to heaven? If you want to go to heaven, you've got to believe that Jesus Christ took the punishment and the judgment for your sin. If you want to go to hell, then you reject Jesus Christ. If you want to go to heaven, you believe in Jesus Christ. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the fire. You need Jesus Christ the Savior and Him as Lord who shed His blood for you today. Having wiped out the handwriting requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and He has taken it out of the way and having nailed it to the cross. Having nailed it to the cross. What did He nail to the cross? What did He nail to the cross? He nailed Jesus and He nailed your sin. Whatever you did wrong, whatever mistakes you made, Jesus Christ died on your behalf. Jesus Christ shed His blood on your behalf. He was nailed on that cross and shed His blood on that cross for any lies you've done, any sexual sin you've done, anything you've done that is wrong, looking at porn, smoking weapon bucket, gambling, anything that you've done wrong. He was nailed to that cross for you. Have you got any questions, bro? Nah. Just watch porn and get forgiven. Just, just, just let you know, you're not on camera, but if you come closer, you'll be on camera. Nah, nah. Alright, then you watch If you repent, yeah. Yeah, if you say, Lord, forgive me. See, any, any... See, when Jesus died on that cross, he died as a porn addict, even though he'd never... No. He's trying to say Jesus is a porn listen, addict, no. No. no, listen, 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 listen. He never did anything wrong. He was perfect, yeah? No, but you're trying to but say Jesus was a porn addict. No, 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 listen, listen. No, 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 listen. no, 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 no. Yeah. Jesus Christ is perfect. But any porn addict, he yeah. died for them. Yeah? <laughs> any murderer, he died for them. So he died as a murderer. He died as a thief. Even though he's not thief, he was dying on your behalf. Right, so whatever, have you ever lied? Yeah, I've lied all the time. Have you ever stolen? No, I've never stolen. Have you ever looked at a woman in lust? Every day. Yeah? <laughs> well, instead of God <laughs> punishing you, instead of God punishing you, Jesus Christ died on that cross for you. Shed his blood for you. Yeah? Right. And if you die tonight, Come here now. if you die tonight, where would you go? Well, it? <laughs> if you died tonight, there is, a, there, is, there is either heaven or hell. I'm going to heaven straight away. How are you going to get to heaven? I'm going to China straight away. How are you going to get to heaven? Obviously. Do you know how you get to heaven? Not by what you can do, but what Jesus has done for you. Nah, My nah, friend, nah, he nah, loved nah. you. He loved that's you. Not, that's My not friend, right, he man. loved you and died for you on that cross. And, and he loved you so much that he wants you to have that joy. Are you happy? I'm happy, yeah. yeah? Well, the happiness that you have, multiply it a hundred times. That's what you can have today in Jesus. Yeah? And not only a peace now, but a peace in the heaven and glory. In heaven and glory. Are you the best man? You can respect this man. But, how many times is Muhammad mentioned in the Quran? How many times is Jesus mentioned in the Quran? If you do a calculation, you know who's mentioned more in the Quran? Jesus is mentioned more, ten times more, than Muhammad. So what does that tell you? It tells you you really need to listen to Jesus. And this is Jesus' own words. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes on Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And He wants you, He wants you to have that love. He wants you to have that grace. Uh, do you know your Quran, sir? Surah 6.34, what's that say? It says this in Surah 6.34. It says in Surah 634, it says, My word cannot change. And it's in the context of the prophets. They tried to attack the prophets. And the Quran says, My word cannot change. Now that means the Bible cannot change. And the Bible tells you how to get to heaven. And it says this. You have to believe, sir. More than four times. More than four times. Okay, okay. I hear what you say. I tell you what, I'll become a Muslim right now. Right now, right? I'll abandon Christianity right now, right? If you answer me one question about your Quran, yeah? And, I, and, and, and it's not critical or attacking his yeah? But I will go home and I'll never preach again, all right? Your own personal Quran that you use, yeah? 
So you've got an old personal Quran at home, yeah? What is the ancient text based on that Quran? No, 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 so you're not listening, you're not listening. The ancient text, what is the name of the ancient text for your Quran? The ancient text for the Quran in Arabic. Yeah, but no, it's Arabic. You're not listening, listen to me now. You have a personal Quran at home. Right, the ancient text for this, right? One of them, the New Testament, is called the Textus Receptus. What that means is, we get this ancient text called the Textus Receptus, and that's the New Testament, yeah? Right, now, now, what is your, the name of, now there are about nine ancient texts of the Quran in, in Turkey and different places, yeah? Your own personal Quran, what is the name of it? No, see, it doesn't know. Okay. See, this, see, this is what Muslims can't answer. Okay, you see. You. They say the Bible's changed, but I ask a simple let question. Let me, let me finish. Let, let, right? let me I'll, I'll come question. back to you in a second. second. No, You're saying back. the whole, the whole, whole Bible, Bible has, has, has no contradictions. I'll, 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 I'll let you answer it. This is important. This is important. Because my friend is saying there's many Bibles here. There is. No, he's not saying that. He's saying me. Let me, let me, we can have a dialogue. Let me come. Listen to this, right? My friend said, let me, let me finish, let me finish, I'll let you come back, sir, I'll let you come back, yeah. My friend said, your first thing that you said to me, right, I didn't attack Islam, the first thing that you said, there are many Bibles, that was an attack, right? Well, he don't, he don't say that. that. He said it's been changed several times. Okay, let me finish, let me finish, right? So, all I was asking, I, I quoted your own Quran, Surah 634, that says the Bible's not changed, right? So, I quote oh, your own text, yeah, no, no. but yeah. when, when you... When you look at your Quran, all I'm asking, all I'm asking, right? If your Quran is one Quran and it's never changed, you can tell me the ancient text. The ancient text for this, the New Testament, right? It's called the Textus Receptus in this King James. Yeah, it's been right, changed. Right, right, wait a minute. So, just tell me what is the name of your personal Quran? What text is behind your personal Quran? Simple question. Did you say you don't know? Did you say you don't know? Your personal Quran. What's your personal Quran? Name your Quran. Right. Now name me the ancient text. No, the no, ancient what's text. Your point? What's your point? What do you mean the point, point is, point? the point is, the argument that Muslims make that the Quran has not changed is oral tradition, right? It's been passed on by oral tradition, yeah? But the point is, if you read Uthman in Bukhari, Bukhari quotes Uthman, and Uthman says that he made one compilation, uh, Bukhari reports that Uthman made one compilation of, okay, okay, okay. of, of the... I'll give you, I'll give you an example, I'll give you an example. You know, let me listen to me. I will let you respond. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Let me respond. You say, let me, let me tell you respond. Let me respond. Am I all respect you? And then I'll, I'll respect you. Yeah? I, excuse me, let me ask you something, let me ask you something, let me ask you something, any Muslims here, let me ask you something, has any Muslim here, have I attacked Islam? Right? Have I shown you respect? No, 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 no. Uh, who did the call? Yeah, but, yeah, but now you're getting personal. You're now getting personal. I've not mentioned anything personal. No, I've not mentioned anything personal. I've not mentioned, wait a minute, I've not mentioned any personal attack. Yeah? I can't do that because I believe it's, 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 not, it's not right in what he says. Okay. Okay. I, I should not accept it because I have to follow the Bible and the Bible tells me not to follow the Bible. Allah. The Bible. Okay. okay, I respect what you said. You said the Quran has been changed. Said that, you said that, didn't you? You said that. No, 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 I never said that. You didn't say that. No, 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 no
That's saying Jesus is Lord. Yeah, it's the word of God. It's the word. It's the word of God. It's the word of God. You can read it now. You don't have to come to me, bro. We have all people here. Christ died. Christ died. Jesus Christ. Have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? Because you're trying to stop it from preaching. That's what you're trying to do. If you want to debate, if you, if you want to debate, if you want to debate, you can debate. I'm talking to you. No, I want to listen to you. No, because I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to shut me down. Jesus Christ died on that cross. He gave his life for you. And he was going to die.
Well, it's called democracy, love. It's a good thing, you know. 